हेलो एवरीवन टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन लीनियर नॉन होमोजीनियस रेकरेंस रिलेशन विद द कांस्टेंट कोफिशियंट हियर थ्योरम फाइव द स्टेटमेंट इज इफ ए एन रेज टू पी इज अ पर्टिकुलर सॉल्यूशन ऑफ नॉन होमोजीनियस रेकरेंस रिलेशन विद द कांस्टेंट कोफिशियंट्स नाउ ए एन इज इक्वल टू सी वन ए एन माइनस वन प्लस सी टू ए एन माइनस टू प्लस वन अप टू सी के ए एन माइनस के प्लस एफ ऑफ एन देन एवरी सोल्यूशन इज ऑफ द फॉर्म ए एन रेज टू पी दैट इज पर्टिकुलर सोल्यूशन प्लस ए एन रेज टू हेच वेर ए एन रेज टू हेच इज अ सोल्यूशन ऑफ असोसिएटेड होमोजीनियस रेकरेंस रिलेशन ओके ए एन रेज टू हेच इज इक्वल टू फ्रॉम हियर टिल हियर it is homogeneous recurrence relation so i have considered one example find all the solution of recurrence relation an is equal to 3 an minus 1 plus 2n what is the solution with the a1 is equal to 3 now what is the formula here anp plus an raised to h so you can write it as an is equal to an homogeneous associated plus an particular solution Fine. Now, in this, what is homogeneous? A n raised to h can be written as three a n minus one. Now, what is your f of n? Or you can tell a n particular solution. A n particular solution or f of n is your two n from this. Okay. Now, uh, take this on the left hand side. A n raised to H minus three a n minus one is equal to zero. Now this is degree one. Since it is a degree one, so I'll write r raised to one minus three is equal to zero. Now r is equal to minus three goes on the right hand side, so the value of r is three. Since there is a only one root that is r is equal to three, then there is a formula for homogeneous that is associated homogeneous a n raised to h is equal to alpha into r raised to n. Write alpha as it is in place of r. Write three, so it is three raised to n. Now this is over. Now next we have to find out a n raised to p particular solution for f n they have given 2 n so there is a formula c n plus d okay for f n is equal to 2 n this is the formula now consider given okay an is equal to 3 an minus 1 plus 2n now in place of an substitute this that is cn plus d since there is a n minus 1 so in place of n substitute n minus 1 plus d and write this 2n as it is okay now multiply this 3 Three C N minus three C plus D plus two N, and right here C N plus D. Now take all these terms on the right hand side. So three C N minus three C plus D plus two N. If you take this on the right hand side, it will be minus and. Uh, Now this will be three D. Okay, here three D, and here it will be minus D is equal to zero. Now subtract these two, and subtract these two. Fine. Now in these. 
टू एंड इन दीज टू टेक अ कॉमन इफ यू टेक कॉमन देन एन इज कॉमन सो आई रिमेन विद टू सी प्लस टू ओके नाउ इन दीज टू इफ राइट इट सेपरेटली टू डी माइनस थ्री सी इज इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ इक्वेट दिस टू जीरो ओके नाउ इक्वेट दिस टू जीरो नाउ हियर टू सी इज इक्वल टू टेक दिस टू ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड इट विल बिकम माइनस टू सी इज इक्वल टू माइनस टू डिवाइडेड बाई टू सो इफ यू कैंसिल सी वैल्यू विल बिकम माइनस वन सब्सटीट्यूट दिस सी वैल्यू हियर ओके सो इट इज टू डी माइनस थ्री इंटू माइनस वन इज इक्वल टू जीरो टू डी माइनस इंटू माइनस इज प्लस सो टू डी टेक थ्री ऑन द अदर साइड इट विल बिकम माइनस so you have got c value and d value here substitute in a n particular uh, solution that is c n plus d from here okay what did i get c value it is minus 1 and right here n plus into minus is minus d value is 3 upon 2 okay as you know that a n is equal to a n Associated homogeneous plus particular solution. Now this I have written here. So alpha three raised to n and particular solution is this. Okay. Now you can go back to the question and see here n value they have given one. Fine. it is given in the question a1 is equal to 3 from this i'll write once again alpha 3 raised to n minus n minus 3 upon 2 in place of n i am going to substitute 1 so a1 is equal to alpha 3 raised to 1 minus 1 minus 3 upon 2 okay what is a1 value it is 3 take this minus okay Uh, or else first write like this now take this minus 1 on the left hand side it will become plus and take this on the uh, left hand side it will become plus is equal to 3 alpha okay 3 plus 1 is 4 uh, 4 to the 8 9 10 11 so it will be 11 by 2 is equal to 3 alpha Now, two threes are six. So here you have got alpha value. Once you get alpha value, substitute in this. A n is equal to alpha value is eleven by six. Okay. Three raised to n from here minus n minus three upon two. This is your final answer.